East Texas, we're about 10 minutes away until the 11 o'clock hour, and we're still pretty dry here, but that will be changing once we move beyond midnight and roll into our Monday. So let's get into it. Here's our surface map. We have a low pressure system overhead, kind of to the north of us. That's causing some severe thunderstorm warnings, mainly due to hail and some gusty winds across southern Oklahoma, far western uh, Arkansas. We don't really have to worry about that quite yet. However, overnight, some of our far northern areas could see some hail as well as some gusty winds, but really for the most of us, this will be a rain event. And that's why we don't really have any severe thunderstorm watches or warnings in our area currently. Also, no flood watches or warnings currently, but that could change as we move into the overnight hours. And that's because we are expecting some heavier rain to enter into our region. This is a very slow, sluggish moving system, and that's why it's taking so long to get here. If anybody tuned in earlier this afternoon when I gave a little update on our social media pages, it really was around the same area this rain. So that's exactly how slow this is moving right now on our CBS 19 radar. Uh, you see some greens on the radar there, but that really could be anything. We do have some added moisture in the air right now. I can tell you, though, most of the rain not going to enter into our region until after midnight. But once it does, this is what you can expect as far as rainfall outlooks go. Uh, let's stop this as we move into the afternoon. So tomorrow morning into about the evening, late afternoon, evening hours around 5 p.m. or so. Most of us will see about a half inch, if not that, even more of rain, while other areas across deep east Texas, you guys will still be on the drier side. Again, this is a slow moving system. Most of the areas seeing the bulk of that rain around Mineola, Tyler, Athens, Canton, Emory, and Sulphur Springs. But moving forward into the second half of the day, that's when the rest of the region begins to catch up. And some areas could push the envelope a little bit getting about an inch, inch and a quarter, or maybe inch and a half much of rain over these next 24 hours. So it's definitely rain that we could use. We are still in a drought in some parts across deep east Texas and in par parts of uh, the rest of east Texas too. So it all depends on how much rain we get, how much we can play catch up here. Morning starter, as I mentioned, it will be a soggy start. You do want to make sure you have the umbrella with you. Temperatures won't be too bad and we'll have a light northeast breeze around 10, 15 miles per hour. All right, going into future skycast. Again, timing this out for you, starting off in those northwestern zones, pulling down into the rest of East Texas around 530, around sunrise time to about 7 a.m. And then as we move into the afternoon, it will sink down into deep East Texas and become more isolated. Again, winds won't really be too um, windy or howling tomorrow, kind of a light breeze coming in from the northeast, but just enough to give that little chill to the air when we have that rain cooled atmosphere. Temperatures tomorrow will be in the lower 70s for daytime highs. As far as the rest of the week, we do have some warmer days ahead. That's coming for midweek. In fact, look at Wednesday going to be fantastic, full of sunshine. Now Thursday and Friday getting a little stuffy again. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for those days, and it looks like we could have some lighter rain chances as we move into next weekend. This is brought to you by Baylor Scott and White, Texas Fine and Joy Hospital.